everyone so i haven't filmed a video or uploaded a video in a very very long time so i thought what better video than my birth story um so obviously um the last video i uploaded was about five months ago and elliot was still in my belly and it was around the sort of time that i actually found out that i was having a little boy so now he's actually asleep in his little Moses basket which is just there and it's so surreal so yeah so I thought I would uh, I don't know share my birth story with you and yeah starting off with pregnancy pregnancy wasn't really that bad um, I had quite a nice pregnancy the only thing that I struggled with was heartburn which I think I touched on in a few of my videos and I did moan quite a lot on like Instagram and stuff like that <laughs> morning sickness wasn't really a thing for me um the only thing that i couldn't stand was the smell of cooked meats other than that really straightforward pregnancy um no real problems i had to have an extra scan for elliot because his growth kind of fell off the chart a little bit um so they just wanted me to have a scan just to double check that he was okay and he was developing fine which he was um so yeah so fast forward to actually having him um i had elliot on the 23rd of june at around 11 36 um in the evening he weighed uh seven pounds exactly i have no idea how long he was or anything like that i didn't really pay attention to that i was just too busy looking at him just like holy shit i just had a baby <laughs> let's go back to when my waters broke so my waters broke on the friday which was the day before um they broke at 20 past eight in the morning um didn't really do anything different with my day i didn't feel any different um the only thing i was doing was pay playing fetch with luna and as i bent down to pick up the ball i stood back up and i just felt everything just go <laughs> um it's kind of exactly how people say um so it just feels like you've just done the biggest wee of your life so i rang my mum straight away and said you know this is what's happened and she was like yep yeah, that's your waters so i was just like yay can't wait thinking yay i'm gonna have a baby today so i called toby uh straight after i called my mum and said look you know waters have gone can you come back home i don't know what's going to be happening so he had only been at work for about 20 minutes <laughs> if that and he was already driving back home um i waited uh about an hour and a half maybe two hours before calling my midwife and i still didn't have any contractions um so then she said um just come in we'll just look you over and see what we can do and go from there um so we went uh, it was confirmed that my waters had broken so yay excited and then we were sent home and it was just a waiting game so i just you know bounced on my little birthing ball and i was just like yeah this is gonna work no <laughs> um so we were booked in the following day which was the saturday um because if your waters break and your contractions don't start within that 24 hours um your baby and you are at a high risk of infection so they booked me in to be induced wasn't looking forward to that in the slightest um in my mind i really wanted to have a water birth but as soon as my waters broke and no contractions happened that just wasn't the option for me so we went to the hospital at nine o'clock saturday morning i had a sweep which was horrible absolutely horrible after she had like broken a little bit more of my waters and just made sure that you know just check the type of waters it was that had gone um she said right go off have some lunch hopefully then um your contractions should start naturally which they didn't um so at five past one i was then put on a drip a hormone drip to kick start the contractions that was all well and good until i had a student putting the drip into my arm um i wasn't told that it was a student which is really wrong um in my birth plan i said that students are absolutely fine i do not mind as long as a i know and b it's only one but all i was told was the midwife that was you know looking after us anyway she just said right we're gonna pop in the drip now and i'll just go get another my midwife to do that 
and so the sort of student come in not knowing it wasn't was a student um she tried to put the um drip in the back of my hand my veins wouldn't come up high enough so in the end it had to go in one of the veins on the side of my wrist which you can actually kind of see the um mark i don't know if you can see that um where she kind of butchered my arm she was trying to get it in the needle in my arm and the drip like the little plastic tube for the drip in my arm for a good i don't know five minutes felt like an absolute eternity um bearing in mind i hate needles and just anything like that and the thought of something you know staying in my arm just made me feel really squeamish so i was just focusing on the corner of the room and just trying not to pay attention to what was happening like below my eyes basically anyway she finally got it in and when they were sort of taking it all away and cleaning it up i sort of looked at the pillow that my arm was resting on and it was just covered in my blood like that gives you an idea of how long she was taking to do it i mean the pillow isn't exactly small is it and the whole thing was practically covered in blood at that point i was three maybe four centimeters dilated um bearing in mind you have to be 10 centimeters before you can actually do anything <laughs> um so being only three or four just felt like it was going to take forever and in a way it kind of did so the hormone drip uh started to work so it was bringing on my contractions and they were slowly getting stronger and stronger and stronger now if you are having a baby soon please do not try and push yourself to the very limits before you give in to pain relief that's what i did and it was stupid really i was suffering and i didn't want to give in when i needed it so luckily Tobes was just saying, just like, look, you, are you sure you don't want it? And he sort of just kept on like asking me and asking me, but I was so headstrong. I was just like, no, I can do this. I can do this. Bearing in mind I was only sort of halfway into labor at that point and it was getting really bad. And so I ended up going onto the gas and air. I have never been high at all in my life and I really don't like the feeling of being drunk. So gas and air is very much that sort of feeling. It makes you feel like you're not really in yourself, if that makes sense. I don't know, if I had too much or a contraction was too strong, it would just make me feel very sort of dizzy and like the room was like really spinning around me and it was just horrible. Um, so I was trying to sort of find a pattern with my contractions because they were induced, um, they weren't, <laughs> sorry, you can probably hear it yet in the background being cute um they weren't like they didn't come on naturally so they were a little bit all over the place so i was trying to time them and try and have the gas in it before it started i was doing that quite well for a little bit and then they just really went haywire and i'd be in a lot of pain i'd be trying the gas in there but of course i'd be taking in so much trying to get rid of the pain quicker i would just be gone <laughs> I just feel really dizzy. Um, I think I was only sick a couple times of it, which is good, maybe, I don't know. Um, so yeah, so I stayed on the gas in there for quite a while. And then next examination was four hours after I started the hormone drip. So that felt like absolutely ages away. And ugh, I just couldn't be bothered to wait that long. It was so annoying. The contraction started to get really, really bad. So I ended up going to the next step up for pain relief, which is uh, the injection. Um, I can't remember what that is, but it's like a morphine mix. Um, it was ejected into my thigh. Um, I did have quite a bruise after that one, to be honest with you. Um, I remember it really stinging. Um, it was horrible. It was a really horrible injection, actually. Um, and they said, you know, the midwife said that you might start to feel a little bit sick or anything like that. But the good thing is, is that it will help you sleep and get some rest. And I so desperately needed that. I remember very little from having the injection. All I remember is sort of dozing in between sleep and waking up for a contraction. And then between the time of me actually having the injection, the next thing I remember 
is telling Toby that I need to push. What I will probably do is I will cut back to this bit. When Toby gets home from work later, I will let him tell you what I was like. So yeah, so I was only actually pushing for about 45 minutes, which is brilliant, I think. Um, I mean, in my head, it was great uh, because I was in La La Land. On Toby's point of view, not so much apparently, but like I said, I will let him tell you that. <laughs> I remember the feeling of the head crowning. Um, it literally feels like burning. Um, but for me, that wasn't the worst part. I found the shoulders m 10 times worse because at least with the head, sorry, this is gonna be really TMI. It's sort of rounded, so it's sort of makes a path for itself shoulders not so much they're like a block they're just straight so when he was sort of like the head was out this feels really weird talking about um when his head was out that was fine that was great but the struggle was getting the rest of him out and i'll tell you something <laughs> it was so difficult i sort of got to the point in my head where i was just like i don't think i'm, I'm done I don't, I don't really know what i can do because I was just getting tired at that point and then, I don't know. And then all of a sudden, whoosh, gone. <laughs> and they, the midwife's passed Ellie up to me and I don't know, I was just looking at this little, this little creature. <laughs> this little kind of blue, gloopy little monster and I don't know, like that feeling of like when he was up on my chest straight away, I was just like, my God, like how have I just done that? Like how? So once Elliot was born and he had all his checks and I was checked over, I then was finally allowed to eat something. Yay. <laughs> um, when you have the hormonal drip, you're not allowed to eat. You're only allowed um, fluids. So I hadn't eaten since, I don't know about 12 o'clock that day and probably by the time I had my jam and toast it was probably half past 12 anyway maybe a little bit later I'm not sure we then sort of got ready to then go down onto the ward where we'd be staying overnight um now I didn't realize at all that Toby wasn't allowed to stay with me and the first night and the idea of being on my own in hospital it just terrified me. The first night was okay. By the time uh, we actually got moved down, it was about four, half past four in the morning. Um, so Toby left then, and then I was just left with this little bundle. Luckily, I didn't really have anything too bad happen like down there. I had a very, very minor tear. Um, which um, only really hurt when I had to go for a wee. Um, so I kind of held it as long as I could <laughs> um, because the only way that I could actually like pee comfortably um, was if I had a jug of water and I sort of tipped that as I had a wee at the same time. Sorry if it's TMI, but you know, if you're expecting a baby, it's a lifesaver but of course I couldn't do that in the hospital so I was literally just there just gripping onto everything just like ow <laughs> because the waters broke more than 24 hours before he was born um we weren't allowed to be discharged until they had monitored monitored him for eight hours um so he kept on having his temperature checked um like his breathing just little things like that um, and we didn't actually get discharged until about half past four, five o'clock in the evening on Sunday. Um, so that kind of sucked a little bit because we sort of missed a whole day. So we come home and just started life as a family of three and a dog. So this is Elliot. Oh, sit down. Sit down. Ooh. How lovely, gracing everyone. And he was just sick down me. He was officially two months yesterday. Um, he had his first letter jabs. 
I don't really know who was more upset about them, him or me. Um, we ended up both having quite a little cry in the nurse's room. Um, but yeah, you had free injections, didn't you? Free injections and some drops. But you liked the drops, so it wasn't too bad. If you would like to see a video of me packing my um, hospital bag or, you know, what I actually took with me, um, then just give this video a thumbs up and I will do that for you. I am going to end this video here. If you would like to see more, then make sure you subscribe and hit the little bell button below um, so then you can be notified every single time we upload a video. Yeah. Yeah! Ooh! 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 <laughs> so yes, I hope you enjoyed this video guys and I will see you very soon. Bye! My... Booming with a dog. <laughs> <laughs> really, you're not? <laughs> you, you wanted to be in the video.